Welcome back, fellow Hoenn enthusiasts. Today, we're gonna use a repel because we're not f***ing around this time. We're on Route 118. We can go north and we would go on to Route 119, but if we go over here, I just ran past you and you didn't give a shit. Oh, that's a trainer. That's why. Okay. If we go this way, we will hit Route 123. <laughs> Route 123. You, you see how cool that is? Okay, maybe it's not. Uh, I forgot that you were a trainer. Well, fuck it, let's do this. Vile Plume, a third stage evolution. Oh my. Uh, what was that idiot well, this doing could, bringing uh, me here? Oh. Oh. Sandy is our only hope. I don't know what I've gotten us into, but this is not good. You're not supposed to come here yet. Y'all came But we fuck did anyways. Me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm, this we'll shit ain't bit nothing of, uh, to me, man. Ways here to give you a little what for. Holy crap, that was surprisingly effective. You can't trust me. I don't even Stun trust spore, myself. We always hate that. Never like Stun Spore, but you know, Sandy's pretty fast in that speed boost. It should at least mitigate the I'm speed loss. I'm peeking off this Danny oh, but Phantom it does not mitigate slime. that. Don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. This is not in your best interest, Vile Plume. The Zaza got me speaking Esperanto. This fucking thing is bloodthirsty. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'll kill oh! you, you stupid piece of shit. You fucking cocksucker. Complete bullshit. Fuck you, Game Freak. I should have done that way sooner. Never trust these fucking NPCs, ever. I'm moving different. Let's just take you, uh, I take you down I so hard, here. they thought I was a wow. fucking nutsack. Ugh. You'll see that this was a great decision and a terrible decision all the same. You smell the bitter son of misery. I smell the bitter ah, son of you helped times. our Kiwi evolve. Guy who's as strong as a Cyberman says what? This is... Uh, a very happy moment for me as a trainer and as a parent, seeing the fully grown, 100% completely grown to fruition. Ta da! Yeah, we have a Swampert now. I'm a proud parent and yet an angry trainer. Find an Ultra Ball here. And an Ultra Hidden Item. Wow, I totally did not walk around or anything like that to have to find that revive. It's not like I went all the way around the fence before turning north and checking the grass. Very, very smart decision. You know, when I'm watching my cute little berries growing up all springy and nice, they're just too cute to resist. Take as many as you like. Use them to grow even more berries. We get a shit ton of free berries here. Kasi berries. These are all weakness augmented berries, so their effect is basically activated by one Pokemon being hit by a super effective... A super effective move of any given type, really. There's a bunch of different varieties. Obviously for normal type, since normal type isn't super effective against anything, then it just boosts the power, or it weakens the power of a normal type move. And that would be this one right here, the Chilon Berry. That's the only one I remember. Except this one next to it, I think this is for dragon type, the Rosselli Berry. I clearly saw two berries on each tree, and yet we only got one. Or three berries, three berries, yeah. What a waste. This is one of the best spots for growing consistent batches of berries in the game, just because there are so many of them. There's like four patches in total. Okay, maybe three patches in total, I don't remember. But once you have gotten here in the game, and then once you have accessed the ability to quick travel, we'll go over that very soon because it's extremely relevant to what we're going to be doing today. There is uh, another patch over here, yep, okay, so there are four in total. Listen, game, I have eyes. I can see that you're giving me the wrong amount of berries. Like, is there a frickin' Weedle or Caterpie, Surskit, even, munching on some of these plants and just making the berries no good? Like, why? Oh, 
Okay, the lumberry that is uh very is that what we just got? Did we just get did we just get a lumberry? Yeah, that is what we got. You want to start farming those right away because it's basically every single status recovery berry put into one. It's extremely useful. Don't know why it took this long to get one, but also I feel like this is relatively early in the game to be getting your hands on that. I feel like typically Lumberry is like a competitive, competitive type of item. But then again, so are the other berries when they're used as a held item. I mean, there's plenty of sets that you would expect a certain counter to, and you might throw a berry on there like, oh, you're gonna try to paralyze my level 5 Bagon while here, have a fucking cherry berry. I don't know. Maybe Lumberry is restricted. Because with competitive Pokemon, you can only use one unique held item per team, so you can't reuse the same held item over again. It's dumb. I'm not into competitive Pokemon, I just know that there's reasons why. Yeah, you're sus, lady. This is the Berry Master. Of course, it's going to explain that soon. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. Got a normal berry. Why be so stingy? Take another. Well, that first berry was pretty normal, but hey, we get a Hondu berry. Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rustboro. Let flowers fill the world. Come and see that man every day. He will give you free berries. The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud that he does. Incidentally, child, do you know a good saying? What was the saying? It was something battle? I wonder what kind of battle it was. Ooh, ooh. Cerebi. By the way, this is case sensitive. What was the uh great Great battle. It's great battle. You can press X to capitalize a letter after you type it in in this game. Or at least in that menu you can. Spell on Barry. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. My life never runs out of joy. I'm glad that it doesn't. I'm not going to talk to that guy because he seems unimportant. I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'm going to hold off on replanting those berries. We can't go any further up the route, and the reason for that is not only we will face overleveled trainers. Wait a second, hold on. Hold on, I think this one may not be a trainer. Okay, yeah, fairy types are sure enough cute, but they can be strong too. I bet you already knew that, eh? Dazzling Gleam. We get TM99 slightly early. Other than that, there is not a lot left for us to do over here on Route 123. Not until our return trip. We do have to come back through here. We will be approaching from the east. No spoilers, damn it! I did not mean to do that. My hobby is Pokemon Ami. What, you got something to say about it? Uh, listen. Miley. Do we really want to do this right now? Have flying types, will battle. Well, this would be a pain in Yo, the King ass for us, if not me. for the fact that Aerial Ace is gonna really hit hard. Oh, why would we switch our Pokemon when we have the perfect opportunity right in front of us to unleash all of our fury, so go ahead and cut her. I need my money! We can guarantee our kill with an Aerial Ace. healed up. He used, uh, used an extra repel. Save us a little bit of trouble. Oh, buddy. Bird Pokemon that fly elegantly in the sky. They're the best. It did it see the ass beating coming? You can't be serious. I'm slower than you. I'm slower than you. Alright, alright. You're not tough. What? I thought Grass-type moves were not very effective on Flying-type. That just shows what I know about type effectiveness. That was strange. I did not know that about type effectiveness, so I'm not gonna... Wait a sec, did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Sounds like a rare Pokémon. Hear a rare Pokémon? Oh, it ran away. I couldn't see it. Which I suppose is kind of funny if you know what Pokémon it is. do 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 I don't see anything, except I do! Citrus berries! This is your replacement to orange berries that don't suck. You're welcome. They've been here the whole time. 
I wanted to go east first, so sorry about that. Citrus berries in hand, we are ready. Except... Wait, hold on. What? Since when... Since when has that been a thing? I guess I forgot about those. We'll go this way. Is this man a trainer? He looks like he's supposed to be a trainer. I don't want to find out. I don't need that trouble. Welcome to Route 119. You have some cyclists here. What a wonderful time for Rappel to wear off. It's no good. When I ride a bike in the tall grass, nobody can see my coolness. I don't think you can ride a bike in the... Ride a bike. <laughs> ride a bide. You can't ride a bike in the... In the tall grass in the older games, as far as I know. Max Rappel. Free of charge. Gonna go this way. I also hear a new Pokemon. One of my favorites from Gen 3. I would like to introduce you to Tropius. I know it looks goofy. But hear me out. Hear me out. It, it, listen. It's charming. He stomped on me, man. Please don't KO, don't KO, don't KO. Wow, what an interesting time to get that stat boost. If it helps us tank any of these hits, assuming we're not able to catch it. But as far as I know, Tropius catch rate is not too small. So we should have absolutely no problem catching her and adding to the Pokedex. I, and you know, just like that. Wow. That is the only time in this playthrough that that ability will ever have been useful. And the reason it's useful here with our lovely little Brembo to put the brakes on is because those stat boosts that we may get with Ancient Power will not go away if we are sent back. Or will not go away because we won't be sent back. Have to swap out with someone else in the party. That may be an HM helper in the future. So just remember that you can catch that here. Huh. I'm still curious about that hidden item. It's in the grass there, a full heal. I think that's our only hidden item to have to... I think that's the only hidden item, so it should be good. I thought how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on them somehow, but it turns out there's an HM move called Fly. I don't know. In a way, my dream came true, but I also feel like I lost my dream. It feels really strange. I'm sure. I'm sure you're really conflicted about that, buddy. What in the hell's going on in here? Look at you. You must be tired. Why don't you and your Pokemon take a rest here? It's very nice. You get a free rest stop. So there's a rest stop there if you need one. Of course, if you have a Pokemon that can use secret power, then you really don't. I smell a static encounter. And I feel like there's something else I want to be doing besides the static encounter. And that would be, first and foremost, going over here. There's most certainly got to be a... Huh. Something fishy about this spot. Maybe with the right Pokemon move. I thought we had that right Pokemon move, but apparently we fucking don't, Susan. Oh, it's not a hidden item. But there is a non-hidden item. So that's just as good, right? Alright, fine. It's already rainy and crappy. Let's just go face the music. But let's put our goofy hat on first. Okay, let's brave the rain. I'm just glad I put my goofy hat on first. Ooh, ooh, berries. Berries. You know what those are, right? You know what those are, right? Those are Hondu berries. I know we just got some, but hey, we get even more. Two Hondu berries. Hondu berries are among some of the ones that decrease your effort values for things. If you're doing specific effort value training, that can be very useful. Okay, okay, cross your fingers. There we go. And let's see, you don't seem to be a trainer. Can your Pokemon use a move Secret Power to make a secret base out of a big pile of grass? Well, I mean, in theory, yes. Alright, fine, double battle. Let's do it. Why not? Alright, you're the first trainer we've met since we formed our team. We're Brains and Brawn. Get ready, because here we come. Oh, you're the first trainer we met since we teamed up. We're what you call Brains and Brawn. We'll do our utmost. I accidentally spoiled something that I didn't want to show off just quite yet. But we do have to go back and get the mock bike, because I would feel bad leaving all of these questions unanswered for you. And back we are. 
running through the grass. Always check yourself for ticks afterwards. Oh, instead of just ticking me off. If you're someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. I'm wearing more clothes than you are. Well, this is rather unfortunate for you, isn't it? You are going to be my pet. Sorry to say, but it ain't your day. Accidents happen when you're not prepared. I'm gonna get rid of heal pulse for now. We're not gonna be doing enough double battles that I'm really gonna need it. Charge beam, however, might prove useful for some type coverage. Oh, I was about to say, without further interruption, looks like we just can't get that. I'm not too bothered about it. Over here we can get on the acrobike trail, however, since the game again likes to make life hell for tile locking. There we go. Use your D-pad and you'll be in good business. I think... Oh yeah. That looked like the prime spot for a hidden item, but also a secret base. Make a secret base back there. Sometimes it gets hidden by the tree. I guess it's kind of cool. Made that Pokemon run away. Well, there's our folly for the day. Right, run back through the grass like we just don't care. We always gotta walk around with our funny hat on. Why wouldn't we? I mean, just look at us go and everything. There's a Pokemon Ranger here. Do you use Detector Mode in the Dex Nav? Apparently, the more you encounter the same Pokemon, the better the search function will be. It's accurate search capability. Ah, yeah, you know what? We went over this already. I went over that already. I don't need you. I don't need you telling them things that. I, I can be telling them, let me educate my kids the way I want to. I don't want to fight you. So I'm just going to run away like a bitch and fight something else. Whoa! What? What? Why? Why is there a horde encounter here out of nowhere? I don't want this. That was extremely odd-ish. Heh 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 heh. Ha! PP Max. It's a very strange item to find near a mudslide. And it's all downhill from there, too, so... In case you're wondering, yes. Yes, this is an extremely odd path to be taking. Why is this guy running back and forth like a weirdo? Get your bird brain ass out of here. This is a very weird path. Uh, the vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare to the sheer exhilaration of... Shut up! Let's see, not great HP stat, not great special defense stat. Fight me, nerd. And then a super effective move used by, uh, well, quite frankly, a special tank. Oh, wow, okay. Down and out, right after I sniped you with the longest range wild trainer encounter that you've ever had in your life. That was just a shortcut, that's just a shortcut, really? Wow. What are you guys doing? What are you doing here? Let me pass. We're standing look out here. Hey, you stay away from the Weather Institute. It's not safe. We're even forced to look out here and have a private time. Well, when you got to eat the president boy, and they got to eat the president boy, and you don't go near the Weather Institute. You shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, don't go near the Weather Institute. Otherwise, I'm going to have that totally big ass I can nip and fit. Oh, there's a gift shop in here and everything, and the TV. Well, the TV's still here. No one stole the TV, so it's not that big of a deal. Wait! Vending machine. I'm just gonna grab some of these all in here. There. I'm sure they appreciate my fine donation. That should keep this place in business for another couple of years. Wait a second! You look familiar. Welcome to the Weather Institute. There seems to be some kind of disturbance on the second floor, but I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Yeah, it's funny you should say- Huh. You know, I do smell something kind of fishy. Literally fishy. Sort of suspicious and familiar. Yes, it's you! You! I know you from somewhere. While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. You can rest here if you want. So you can conveniently heal your Pokemon, and what's this over here? A fully functional PC. Huh. Funny, that is. We got an item from Linoon. Looks like a great ball. That's not as good as I was expecting from you, bro. I swapped Linoon for Linoon. I'm not even going to give you the chance to ambush me. What do you want? The boss got interested in the research they have going on here, so he sent us out. Quit your meddling. Do you realize what you're up against right now? 
Oh, Mighty Anna. Well, that's not very fair, don't you think? Well, speaking of not fair, you see, I crave this. I crave the power-up punch that I'm about to Jesus, land on. I overslept. Not only is it super effective, but it boosts my attack. Uh, recover will be useful. You know, I've never used Psycho Shift before, and while it sounds great, I would kind of like to have recover on there. I'd rather have that sustainably than than status conditions. This might spell out a little bit of trouble for you, because this Crush Claw is probably going to hit like a freight train. And it did. Alright, well, we're done with that. Blasted by a kid! If you want me to blast you? Because I will. Don't question me, punk. How about you? You're completely optional as well, but I want to kick your ass. Well, aren't you lucky? So, are we done, or are we finished? I really didn't expect that to end any other way. So do you understand why you should be the first one to leave? I meant what I said. Off camera, of course. I mean, I don't want you guys to think I'm a complete monster. What the fuck is going on up here, guys? Could it be? Is this the world? Archie hoped to create. Curse you! The precious results of my research! Give them back! Shut your mouth! Ah! Steady on! Are you alright? Violence in a Pokemon game? Whoa, guys, we need to we need to calm down before this ESRB rating goes up. Fine, I'll give it back. I'll give it back, alright? The awakening of the super ancient Pokemon will bring about extreme weather. If this happened all over the world, what would become of Pokemon? Not to mention people. Hmm. You seem like you're going to be a problem to us. We're Team Aqua. We appear wherever anything rare is found. Who would have thought that Charge Beam would be so we handy so soft. early on, right when we first... Like, wow. I just taught Charge Beam to this thing. I mean, we did just... We did just catch Bianca, so... I wasn't asking permission. Mighty Anna. We'll give Sandy some due attention. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. Unleash our fury. I need my money. You got me. Seems awfully jubilant for someone who just got his ass kicked by someone who is at least a decade younger than him. Huh? What's a kid doing here? You see? This chick gets it. You really were doomed from the start. I'm sorry. Fight me, nerd. Bye-bye. Huh? I lost? You guys are giving me some good prize money. That's all I'm saying. Who do you think you are? You guys are stinking up the place. You smell like... And you smell like clams. Ugh. Oh, my. I even run into you when I'm not on the clock. I wonder why that is. Maybe we're destined to be together. ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, wanna know something? I'm feeling so empty and downhearted right now, I can't get my head straight. Um, help me take my mind off it. The way you and your Pokemon battle so straightforwardly and sincerely with such hope, it makes me so mad! Is she really challenging us? Uh, cha challenging us? Are we really being challenged? With only one Pokemon on your team, is is that really what's happening? I asked you politely this time. Oh. Have you ever thought about practice in principle? So why don't you take that? And let me tell you something. This isn't even my final form. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, God. You just had to go for the- you had to go for the swagger strats. Just... stop. <laughs> Alright. We hit a few humps along the way, but... Shelly is still Shelly. 
And I guess she's not thinking on her, uh, she's not in her best frame of mind when battling us. I didn't even listen to what she said. Dot, dot, dot. Hmph. I feel a bit more relaxed. Thanks. As a token of my gratitude, I'll tell you one thing. When Team Aqua's... No, when the illustrious Archie's ambitions have been realized, the world will truly return to its beginnings, to before the birth of anything at all. Think for yourself about what to do when you're up against that reality. I still haven't figured out for myself what's wrong and what's right. See ya. I'm sure I'll run into you again, though. Archie is probably on the way to Mount Pyre, so I... dot dot dot... probably shouldn't tell you anything else. I'm already finna get demoted, so... Ah, the smell's gone. Thank you, young one. You helped save us from quite a pinch. You okay there, mate? <laughs> ah, that was... That truly was a slap in the face. Those thieves. What could they hope to gain by investigating the extreme weather pattern of thousands of years ago? Ugh, but I'm forgetting myself. First, I must thank you properly for your help. It might seem an odd way of rewarding you, but please take this Pokemon as my thanks. Huh? You cannot carry any more Pokemon with you currently. Why don't you come to call again after you've made space on your team? But as for the data those ruffians were seeking, they wanted to know about the extreme weather conditions that ruled thousands of years ago because of those two super ancient Pokemon and their bullshit fighting, sibling rivalry. One of that pair was the legendary Pokemon we know as Mighty Kyogre. By absorbing the energy that abounds in the natural world, Kyogre transformed itself, or so it is said. The transformed Kyogre caused so much disturbance to the weather patterns that the world was assaulted by torrential rains and the seas rose around the planet. We refer to this transition... This, <laughs> we refer to this transformation as primal reversion. We believe it is uh, increasing global warming, but nobody actually cares about that. Its result is a terror we call Primal Kyogre. Primal reversion is a possible form of evolution, like and yet not like Mega Evolution. Or so it has been theorized, but it's never been achieved by any Pokemon other than the super ancient legendary Pokemon, and so it has been largely forgotten as a method of evolution. The guy, I... Listen, you're reading straight off of Wikipedia. I don't care anymore. If you'll excuse us then, we'll be heading downstairs now, but talk to us when you have a moment. We want to thank you as well. I'm sorry about my friend. So you don't have anything to actually reward me with except for what is probably... You know what? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to clear out a space on my team. Okay, I have an open space on my team now. What is so great that you want a, you want a cast form? You gave me a cast form. Cast form is a Pokemon that changes form according to the current weather. We have many cast forms in the institute. It happens with the research of weather phenomenon. Young lady, that was very rude of you. Yeah, I I know it was. So is giving me a cast form. Rude ass. Thanks for the great ball. You were getting awesome items before, man. I smell it again. I smell that that static encounter energy. I want to go this way. I don't want to go towards the smell. But what happens if we surf down here? I feel like there is a waterfall that was blocking our path. So what happens if we approach it from the dishonest angle? What's over here? Oh no. I can already tell there's a hidden item here. Ultra Ball. Okay, well, it was free. It was free. Are there any hidden hidden items here? Okay, fine. That's not the patch, is it? That's not the patch. Whoa! Hey, we missed an item over there. Missed a spot. There's a secret base spot right over here. I don't know why you'd want it to be that far out of your way and in need of so many repels. Ooh! A leaf stone! Evolution item. So we'll snag that up right now. Alright, let's return from where we once came. Free item. Oh, in a battle? I'll show you the true potential of my bird Pokemon. They're called flag types, you idiot. I've got bad news for you, Doduo. You are going to be my pet. Electric type moves are totally based in the rain. We lacked potential. Well, you had the potential to give me that prize money, which you did, so I'm very happy about that. I don't know what you're complaining about. 
Oh no. Oh no, there's that smell again. That smell, I just, I can't stand it. It's that smell. That smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells... Smelly. That's all I've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you love the Hoenn region, drop a like. You know what to do. We'll be back soon with the next exciting installment of our adventure. Can't wait to see you then.